Good afternoon and welcome inside another edition of That's What I Think with Brandon Swanson. I'm your fearless host, Brandon Swanson, and this week, folks, it's going to be a little quick, but I wanted to take a week off talking about sports, which is what we've been talking about for a lot here lately, which is great, which is what we love here at MVP, but I wanted to take a minute and talk about two things that happened within the last week that it makes me feel feel really good to live in the country that we live in and to be thankful for good people that we walk by each and every day, not even knowing who they are, complete strangers. And one of those complete strangers to a lot of people was James Shaw Jr. James Shaw Jr. today is a hero. A hero for wrestling the rifle out of the hands of the Waffle House shooter. Four dead, others injured, but it could have been so much worse. James Shaw Jr. didn't sit back, didn't cower in fear like many of us probably would. And it's no fault to us. None of us necessarily wanna put our lives at risk for our families, for ourselves. But James Shaw Jr., who has a family, was willing to do that, was willing to, not even thinking about being a hero, thinking about saving lives. That's exactly what he did. And now he's got some bruises, some cuts, and a hospital trip to uh, show for it. But there's also a lot of people alive because of him. And then not only, not only does he save these people's lives, but he then goes, starts a GoFundMe page online and raises around $165,000 that are going to be used to support the families of the living victims and the families of those victims who passed away. That's a true hero. That's a true hero. You're not basking in any glory from, from helping to save these people. You're just trying to be better and do better by them. That's, that's absolutely incredible. And, and again, you know, we, we talk about a time that we're in right now where there's so much, I, I, there's so much hate, there's so much dislike, there's so much just back and forth at each other. This, moments like this, yes, four lives lost, and that's horrible. But many more were saved because of James Shaw Jr. Thank you. Thank you, James Shaw Jr., for doing what you did. Because, again, we need more people like you. We need more people to then go out and help support these families, help raise money for these families. And you've done it, $165,000. And then another gentleman comes along, starts one up, gets $175,000. So the efforts of good people coming together is incredibly powerful and more powerful than any, any evil being will ever be. Moving on to another situation just a couple of days ago in Michigan, a man was threatening to jump from a bridge just above I-696, Interstate 696, and he was threatening, the police got a call, he was threatening that he was going to jump, he was gonna take his own life. Now how many times have we seen this and tragically? Too many. So what happens? The Michigan State Police, in conjunction with 13 semis, lined both sides of the highway. Every single spot of the highway is lined with semi-trucks to shorten the fall for this man if he does decide to jump. When I saw that image, when I saw that image, that was absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible that they're thinking, the cops and the semi-truck drivers, to come in to do this to if he did jump, most likely he's not going to die. Will he have injuries? Of course he will. But you're saving his life by coming together, thinking quickly, cleverly, and doing this. And the police were able to get him away and and everything, and he's hopefully getting the help that, that he needs now, but we need to see more of this. We see all the bad. That's in front of us every single day. 
A lot of times they like to try and hide the good stuff. But these two things were not hidden. These two things came to the forefront and we are very happy and we were very proud because of that. Again, James Shaw Jr., thank you so much. You are a hero. The Michigan State Police and those 13 semi-truck drivers who came along to ensure that a man's life would not be in as much danger. Thank you to all of you. You guys are heroes as well. And we can be everyday heroes doing small acts of kindness that go a very long way. And that's why I think this week, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I know it was a little shorter this week, but those are two stories I really wanted to talk about and just really get right down to the point of, of what I thought about it. Also, Ricky's got to see uh, Avengers and Infinity War, so got to had, had to be really quick uh, about that so he could go pick up Johnny. But uh, we'll be back here again next week, same time, same place, 2 Central, 3 Eastern, 12 Pacific. Until then, enjoy the rest of your week. Have a great weekend. So long.